Hey guys, uh, Sam Pro Pro here, and welcome to the tutorial um, requested by who I forgot to name. <laughs> uh, anyways, this requested by somebody who I put in the title. Anyways, this is animated lighting. So as you can see, I made a little room here. Uh, this this won't only work um, like this won't only work on um, one size like one room size things like this on maps that don't scroll but it's a lot harder to get working on maps that do scroll so I recommend just doing this for small rooms like this so first you, know, you want to download a, this program called the GIMP and this was my test image but anyways what you want to do is when you have the GIMP we'll actually go back to your game <laughs> find print screen on your keyboard uh, if you can't find print screen you can also go to file you create screenshot anyways get a screenshot of your uh, your, your room. Now you want to go to file new after you after you've got a screenshot of your room. Make sure nothing's in the way of it. Make sure you, you just see the room uh, before you take a screenshot. Now you want to make a new image. Size the, the width is 544. The height is 416. That's the that's the uh, the default size of an RPG Maker VX Ace map. Press Control V. You're gonna see it's kind of offset. So just drag it around and make sure this top left pixel right here. Like that it gets right uh, the corner. So now you've got oops. So now you've got um, your map right here on exactly where you want it. This the reason behind this is so you can see here's some of my other images. So you can see where you want your lighting. So create a new layer, paint it black. Set the transparency to about 45. So it's slightly dark. Now you want to go to select your the erase tool and uh, select the fuzziest brush you can find like the like that and make the size about 45 so now you got like this big circle thing what you're gonna wanna do is zoom in by holding control and scrolling up or selecting from down here and just kind of erase the part of the black so now you have lighting you may you can kinda make it look like it's slanting uh, like or like the things are bending like, and if you want to do that, you just go back to the, uh, just go to this little brush tool. You can kind of make it look like the um, the dressers are actually bending light. And if that's the case. You can kind of make like a little small little shadow here, but then erase the like that. So now what you want to do is go back, go to another window, and do pretty much the same thing. Obviously, there's really nothing here to bend light. You don't have to make it look too detailed, but you can if you really really want to eh, I'm not going to worry about it too much because it's, it's going to look a lot better when when the lighting is done trust me so now find your other window do the same thing oh see how we're going out here like this no you don't want that so if you go on the you can have it like slightly on the wood if you want on the roofing but I kinda like to just keep things simple Now I'm gonna add a now right now there's no map or one map. What am I talking about, man? I'm sorry. Today's been really, really frustrating. <laughs> Anyways, so there's no window here, but my dog is scratching at my door, but you know what? She can wait. Um anyway, so we're just gonna make a like a small light here. Maybe about like right there like that. And this is going to be pretty much the window. Um, it gives you the illusion of, the, of there being a window, like right there. So now what you want to do is right click, go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur, blur it by about 45. See, there we go. So now we have our basic lighting. So un click the little eyeball where on the background layer to get rid of the background. Click File, Export, and export it as mylight.png or whatever you want to name it. Now go to RPG Maker. Go to picture. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. All right, go to Resource Manager. Go to Pictures, Graphics slash Pictures. Click Import and find your image. So now we've imported MyLight.png. Now to make it animated, you want to make a new event. Give it a par make it a parallel process. And all you have to do is go to Event Commands, Tab Two, Show Picture. If 
find your picture, my light, for example. Opacity normal, 255. Width normal, height normal, all that good stuff's normal. Now what you want to do is move picture, picture one, make sure it's set for the same number as whatever picture you set it, the number as. Now you want to do height, increase it by two, so it's 102%. Copy this, paste this, and then width and height is 102. Now you want to do, oops, oh come on man, it did not. So copy and paste that again. This time just make width 102. Copy and paste it one more time and make them both 100. So let's see how that looks. I hope I'm recording. I believe I am. What? Oh, no player positions. <laughs> um, there. There you go. Your light is now animated. And it gives it that more, like, kind of waking feel. And if it's too dark, all you have to do to adjust that is, um, of course, you're going to have to do this on all the animated ones, too, is just kind of uh, make it fade to 175. Let's see, watch, I'll show you how that looks. <laughs> see how it's getting brighter and darker? Watch. Um, 200, so you got 175, 200, 225, and back to 255. So now it's going to slowly fade as it animates. It'll get darker and brighter. If you stand in light, you can see how the light goes around you and stuff like that. So I hope this helps, and yeah, thanks for watching.